Isn't that illegal? You've probably seen the videos which use a banana to prove that God created the world. Apparently, a banana is the atheist nightmare because everything about it just had to be designed by Almighty God. So, I'm going to recreate the video and find out all about God and bananas and um, stuff like that. So here we go. Behold, the atheist nightmare. Oh, I've had sleepless nights about these, I tell you. Now, if you study a well-made banana, you'll find on the far side there are three ridges. Uh, well, actually, <laughs> on this banana, there's two ridges on the far side. Obviously not a well-made banana, sorry God. And on the close side, three ridges. No, two ridges. Anyway, God, you got it wrong on this one, anyway. However, if you get your hand ready to grip a banana, like this, sort of, ready to grip, there we go, you'll find on the far side there are three grooves, one, two, three, and on the close side two grooves, okay, unfortunately if we match the hand with the banana, it's not going to work is it, the banana and the hand are perfectly made, one for the other, mm. you know what I'm saying, and you'll find the maker of the banana, Almighty God, has made it with a non-slip surface. Look, see, see, non-slip. Oh shit. It has outward indicators of inward contents. Green, too early. Yellow, just right. Black, too late. So, if you go to the top of the banana, which by the way, if you hold it with going to the ridges it's pointing the wrong way around but we'll turn around if you go to the top of the banana you'll find as with the soda can the makers have placed a tab at the top and God has placed a tab at the top of the banana just like the can and when you pull the tab the contents don't squirt in your face oh, amazing It's got a wrapper, biodegradable, with perforate, perfor, it's, the original video says it's got perforations. Have you ever seen a banana with perforations? Don't think so. Anyway, perforations. Notice how gracefully it sits over my hand. Notice that there's a point at the top for ease of entry. It's just the right shape for the human mouth. Mm. Mm. It's not the only thing. It's chewy, easy to digest, and it's even curved towards the face. But as I said, the ridges on this are the wrong way around, so it's going it to point, point the wrong way on this one. But we can work it out. Curve towards the face to make the whole process so much easier because it would be really difficult if you pointed the wrong way because you'd be. So, apart from a few production problems in God's almighty banana factory with the ridges on the wrong way around, put banana in back to front, it all proves that God made bananas. How amazing! And as the original video says, the whole process of creation testifies to the genius of God's creative glory. Woohoo God! Yeah baby! So, if the whole of creation proves that God is so creative, we should be able to find some other perfect examples of God's wonderful, inventive, designing magnificence. So, let's see what else we can find. Exhibit B! Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> God, you really fucked up on this one. The pineapple. It's got spikes on it, so it's painful to hold. It's not that painful. Um, the easy to open tab. No, no, no. 
no real method of telling it's right because it's green, brown, yellow, all kinds of colours on there. Um, so let's try and get into it, shall we? Is it screw top? God, screw top. No. Uh, there's a bit. There's a like a little lid on the bottom. Is that? Um, God, what were you thinking? God, right, I give up. How the fuck were we supposed to get into pineapple before man invented sharp knives, eh? You just don't know what you're doing, God. Here's some more stuff that God apparently invented because he's such a great designer. The potato. Ever tried eating a raw potato? It's not recommended because raw potatoes contain glycoalkaloids which are toxic until you cook them at high temperatures. And anyway, it's not much use to the people in the Bible because pot potatoes originated in South America and they were only brought over when the New World was, was discovered. So if you're going out shopping for potatoes, you've got a long way there and back to get to Jerusalem. Next one. Onions. You truly have to be insane to try and eat these when they're raw. Uh, but even if you know that you've got to cook them, when you peel them and chop them, they make your eyes water. You want to know why they make your eyes water? Onions give off a gas which reacts with water in your eyes to form sulfuric acid in your eyes. So thanks God, you try to poison us with the potatoes and blind us with the onions. Okay. I'm going to have another go at getting into this pineapple. Uh, so while I'm doing that, let's take a quick look at one of more of God's wonderful creations. Roll VT. Vancouver. Vancouver. The yeah. West. Yeah, West. It's a very cold in Vancouver, yeah. Oh, ah, really? Not like not like this. this? Yeah, no, 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 we, we are not the same as Montreal. Montreal. No, Montreal. Montreal. I come from Montreal. Yeah. Montreal. Yeah. Yeah. Montreal. yeah. Yeah. Montreal. Yeah. Montreal. yeah. yeah. Is that Yeah, Vancouver is rain. Rain, yeah. Rain. No snow. No. But uh, it's not like... Hi, my boy, Francais. Tu veux parler français? No, beaucoup, beaucoup français. Pour un français canadien, oui. Oh, oh, c'est bon. Mais tu connais que c'est français de France et français de Canada sont différents. Oh, c'est très différent. Et aussi en Canada, il y a des France de Québec. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Ah, good. Eat. Oh, my goodness. Wow, it's cold, it's cold. Mm, that's not watching that too. Yeah. Over back. Oh God. This business with the coconut god. Did you do that specifically so that man would invent the machete? And even then, when he's got the machete, he's liable to cut his fingers off before he gets into these bloody coconuts. Because what it seems to me is, all it's proven is that God puts coconuts and pineapples on tropical islands uh, specifically to piss off all the Hawaiians that live there. Going back to the banana. This is a dessert banana. Cultivated banana. Cultivated over thousands of years by humans. So, designed by humans in other words to be what we like to eat. Because wild bananas are all kinds of weird shapes and sizes and textures and they've got seeds in them. Some are good to eat, some are disgusting. It's taken thousands of years for humans to cultivate and select and breed, interbreed, the types of bananas so that they're just how we like them. So, in other words, God didn't have a thing to do with it. If that's the atheist nightmare, this, that's the Christian's horror movie. Isn't that illegal? 
Censor your kids' ideas. Censor your child's inspiration. Censor all that. Expect a really heavy return spring, because you know what? That kid's going to turn around yet, and you're never, ever going to have a part of his life again. Casting off the chains of the world. But enough about me.